The real cause of the Iranian president's death has been exposed. Iran has spent years accumulating enemies, so identifying the suspect is not difficult. However, all fingers are currently pointing in one direction, Israel. Iran once fired 300 missiles toward Israel, and Israel vowed to retaliate. Iran suspects that the death of the president is linked to Israel, and as a result, Iran has vowed to attack Israel. Additionally, the Houthis are preparing 4,000 men for any invasion, as they are ready to send their forces to Iran's aid if the US intervenes. Iran calls itself the superpower of the Middle East due to its advanced weaponry systems and its control over the Houthis and various other militant groups in the region. The tension between Israel and Iran has escalated numerous times, and Iran suspects that the president's death is linked to Israel, suggesting that the crash could be retaliation from Israel. Iran expands its influence in the region by supporting militant groups like the Houthis and Hamas, which are enemies of Israel. Tensions rose sharply when Iran directly attacked Israel by air in April 2024, shocking the international community and raising global concerns. In this context, the rising hostility of Palestinians has been escalating. On a fateful day, the Iranian president was returning from a meeting accompanied by two other helicopters. Tragically, the president's helicopter crashed severely, while the other two landed safely. Iranians believe the president's death is linked to advanced technology weapons. Some believe the helicopter crash is linked to the Israeli intelligence group Mossad, but this theory is hard to accept given Iran's president's strong ties with powerful and dangerous armed groups. The incident, which occurred while the president was returning from a meeting, saw his helicopter crash while two others landed safely. Iranians suspect advanced technology weapons might be involved, further fueling the speculation. However, the complex geopolitical dynamics and Iran's extensive influence in the region make it challenging to pinpoint the exact cause or responsible party for the tragic event. On May 15, an assassination attempt was made on the president of Slovakia while greeting a crowd. The president, known for her progressive policies and strong stance on democratic values, was attending a public event when the incident occurred. As she mingled with the crowd, shaking hands and speaking with citizens, an assailant emerged from within the gathering, attempting to harm the president. Security personnel acted swiftly, subduing the attacker before any harm could come to the president. The quick response of the security team ensured the president's safety and prevented what could have been a tragic event. The assailant was immediately apprehended and taken into custody for questioning. On state television, an Iranian presenter declared that Mossad is to be condemned for its actions in the region. The presenter highlighted Israel's scientific community, accusing them of engaging in what he termed shanism, a term implying covert and unethical practices. He went on to discuss the numerous atrocities that Israel is committing against Palestinians, painting a grim picture of the ongoing conflict. The presenter detailed various incidents of violence and oppression, alleging systematic abuse and human rights violations perpetrated by Israeli forces. He emphasized the suffering of Palestinian civilians, including women and children, under what he described as a brutal occupation. The broadcast aimed to rally domestic and international support against Israel's actions, calling for justice and solidarity with the Palestinian cause. President Ibrahim Raisi of Iran was traveling to inaugurate several infrastructure projects in the northeastern region of Iran. The projects included new roads, bridges, and public facilities aimed at improving local connectivity in economic development. This visit was part of his broader agenda to promote domestic development and showcase the government's commitment to improving the quality of life for all Iranians. However, the tragic helicopter crash that occurred during this trip has now overshadowed these planned inaugurations, leading to widespread speculation and investigation into the causes of the incident. President Ibrahim Raisi of Iran was traveling to inaugurate several infrastructure projects in the northeastern region of Iran, specifically in the province of Khoraisin Razavi. 
These projects were part of the government's efforts to boost regional development and enhance the quality of life for residents in these areas. The initiatives included the opening of new roads to improve transportation networks, the inauguration of bridges to facilitate connectivity between communities, and the unveiling of public facilities such as schools and hospitals. The president's visit aimed to underscore the government's commitment to addressing the socio-economic needs of Iran's provinces and to highlight the importance of infrastructure development in fostering regional growth and prosperity. Additionally, it provided an opportunity for President Raisi to engage directly with local officials and community leaders, listening to their concerns and reaffirming the government's support for their priorities. The trip was significant not only for its focus on infrastructure projects but also for its symbolic importance in showcasing President Raisi's leadership style and priorities early in his presidency. However, the tragic helicopter crash during the visit has now shifted the narrative, prompting a reassessment of the incident's implications and raising questions about its impact on Iran's domestic and international affairs. The death of Iran's president garnered significant attention and concern for several reasons political impact, the president is a key political figure in Iran, holding significant power and influence over domestic and foreign policies. His sudden death creates a power vacuum and potential instability, leading to concerns about the country's future direction. Regional Implications Iran plays a crucial role in regional politics, with its actions and policies affecting neighboring countries and broader geopolitical dynamics. The death of its president can have ripple effects across the Middle East, impacting regional alliances, conflicts, and diplomatic relations. Domestic stability, the president's death can also impact internal stability within Iran. It may trigger political uncertainty, factional rivalries, or even public unrest, especially if there are suspicions of foul play or internal power struggles. Economic consequences, political instability or uncertainty following the president's death can affect Iran's economy, including investment, trade, and currency stability. Concerns about economic disruptions may arise, both domestically and internationally. ...for the president's helicopter, which ended with their own emergency landings. As night fell, hope waned. Vice President for Executive Affairs Mohsen Mansouri reported that two individuals from the president's helicopter had made contact with the rescue team, suggesting that the severity of the incident might not have been catastrophic. The search for the helicopter had been a race against time, hampered by dense fog and treacherous terrain. Rescue teams, numbering 40, spotted the wreckage from a distance of about two kilometers and then took about an hour.